It's time for my top 10 most complimented cologne slash fragrances of 2017. The most important list. Let's get into it. Time to musk up. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Just got getting into my top 10 most complimented list. And this is pretty much the most important list, the most interesting list that every person creates. If you're a fragrance reviewer, I really, really care about my list. I don't just want to put any cologne as number five or number 10 or just random. Like I'm really, really serious about it. I just really wanted to wait just to the right time and really make sure that telling you exactly the most effective colognes for the review that I'm doing. All right, guys, our three honorable mentions are Abercrombie & Fitch's Batch 46, Versace Eros, and Mont Blanc Individual. Three amazing scents, but unfortunately, they couldn't crack this top 10 list. They do garnish some compliments, actually a good amount of compliments, but just not as much as my top 10. This is compliments only. This is not what I think of them. Three very solid scents. You can't go wrong with either one of them. Now on to the top 10. Number 10, Invictus Aqua. I was watching a fellow YouTuber named Fragboy Stewie, and he had this as his number one most complimented for this year. Personally, it didn't do that well. As you can see, I've used actually a good a little bit of it because I do have a lot of a clone. So the fact that I've used this much, um, I definitely do like this stuff. It uh, definitely projects quite a, quite a bit. It is pretty eye-catching when you come over because it is the only Invictus bottle. It's very, very solid stuff. I have received a few average compliments with this one. Uh, from the times that I have worn it and I do actually like it. It has real good projection and I think it has a really good DNA to it. I did not get anything crazy. I just got a couple average compliments with it. So that's why it's number 10 Invictus Aqua. Number nine, the infamous YSL Lanoui de Lome. Now, this one might be a little higher if I you know, had more time to test it. Again, this is literally how effective they are when I've shown them around. So because I have not owned Lanoui de Lome for that long, I haven't had the most amount of testing with it and I have had more testing with something like Dolce & Gabbana the one. Very, very solid stuff. I have gotten very above average reactions from this one. I've gotten so-so reactions and I've gotten like very above average reactions. Never bad and never like that's the best thing ever that's like crack i just need to smell it like over and over and over i have had girls say oh i do like that one or like it is a little like you know a little better than i thought but other fragrances end up standing out more to them than lena weed Delome. that's just how it's working for me so i just want to let you guys know number nine ysl lana weed Delome. number eight Versace Pour Homme. Now, the Versace Pour Homme, you really can't go wrong with. Very, very solid scent. It does have really, really strong initial projection and almost no performance um, past the two or three hour mark. It is literally probably like almost nothing by the time it's two or three hours. I've worn this to job interviews and I've worn this to work. Uh, I have a story that I've, I've told in my other videos, but I put this, put a bunch of these sprays on uh, you know, just randomly because it's supposed to not have a, like a long length of projection about 45 minutes um, into my work shift I'm sitting outside. I've been sitting outside this whole time um, You know decent wind somebody comes out of a building and quotes how strong it is and how like oh somebody just put cologne on I knew it was me. It was just amazing that it lasted that long I did put a lot of sprays on but it had been 45 minutes and people say that after an hour it goes away so I have had that. I have had showed this to girls, and this one's their absolute favorite. This always gets solid reactions. I've never gotten a bad reaction from it personally. You can kind of wear it anytime. Um, it's good for job interviews. It's good, at very versatile, very, very solid scent. Number eight, Versace Pour Homme. It smells like a turd covered in burnt hair. Number seven, another Versace, Versace Dylan Blue. Now, Versace Dylan Blue um, smells a little bit like Blue de Chanel. It smells a little bit like Dior Sauvage. It does smell a little bit like Bulgari's Aqua Atlantique as well. Um, it's more of a modern style scent. It's kind of got a little bit of this Sauvage style roughness. It's got a little bit of this sweetness to it. Um, it definitely is a little bit in its own direction, but it also does do a lot of other things. Um, I have showed this to girls a lot, and more often than not, they choose this one off the initial spray. But Dylan Blue just has a little bit of that. Um, it's it's unique in the sense that the most of the fragrances that it does smell like came out recently, so it's kind of like a new trend to smell like this, although it does smell similar to other fragrances. Girls haven't been smelling this exact scent from, say, like 2010, 2005, you know, all the way back then. It's like, how, really, this style scent wasn't out there, so when I've showed it to girls back to back, they more often than not prefer Dylan Blue now, so I want to put that one higher. I was going to put Versace Pour Homme higher, but I do think uh, Dylan Blue deserves the top the the better spot at number seven. Number six, Club de Nuit Intense Man. The Creed Aventus clone. I've highly hyped this one on a lot of videos. It's been on my cheap list. It's been on just about every list. 
very very good stuff i have smelled creed aventus one time and i did smell very very similar to this um, it's got a very smoky kind of dark kind of smell to it very boss like very ceo like um, i do think it's good for the office but it's a very take charge scent a very masculine like you know somewhat aggressive scent so like if um you know that doesn't really fit you or you're just kind of want to be like a person that just kind of goes under the radar and doesn't want to be noticed while you're at work if that's what you want to do i really want to wear this because this just kind of embodies like taking charge i have gotten so so reactions from girls um I, it's more of just like when i've been around them i've just gotten they've acted like nice you know i haven't had any time that they specifically complimented me the reason that it is on this list is twice in front of two of my friends i oh i usually wear cologne in front of all of them all the time and um, to my knowledge, this is the only time I've worn a cologne around them um, and they've, they've complimented me and say, oh, you smell nice. Or like, oh, damn, what are you wearing? Um, I also have heard somebody saying that with Aventus, right when they get into a car, that's when they get all these compliments. The time that I did is when, when I got into like the truck and this and that, and like I just got the, you know, this big compliment. I just like to wear it for kind of like the office situation. Very good length of projection. Uh, smells pretty similar to Creed Aventus, very smoky. Probably one of the strongest ones on this list and the most smoky on this list. Number six, Club de Nuit, Intense Man. If you made it this far, thank you very much for making it this far and not skipping into the first one. If you were to give me the option to keep these six cents because one of them is a tie, I would, if it was either the rest of my cologne collection or keep these six cents, I would keep these six cents. Every one of these cents on this list I think is worth buying, but the top six... Just absolutely unbelievable. Without further ado, let's get into number five. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you, that smells like pure gasoline. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. One of my favorite scents of all time that I've ever smelled. Um, people say that it smells feminine, pear, vanilla, cinnamon. The only time that people will talk bad about it is say that it, it smells like a girl's fragrance or you just, it's just basically too feminine. It's just such a pleasant, a lovely smell to me. And I, I don't know, there's so many good and solid scents, but nothing, nothing really touches this as far as sweet scents. I mean, Versace Eros, next closest one to this one, and that was only an honorable mention. So very, very good stuff. Can't recommend this stuff enough. The only problem is I haven't tested it enough, and a lot of people are do not like it because it's feminine. But I absolutely love this stuff. I will never be without a bottle personally if I could help it. Number five, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultra Male. Number four, Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct. This one has gotten pretty much great reactions almost every single time that I've ever showed anybody. This is one of my friend's favorite scents. He likes this scent more than Ultra Male. The reason that it's better than Ultra Male is mainly because I've tested it a lot. And I would say mostly everybody I've showed to likes this. I showed this to one of my friends, he bought it. I showed it to another one of my friends. This is absolutely favorite scent from my, my collection. And the other one of my friends said it's very, very good and he still wants it, but he hasn't purchased it. The only time I've ever got a bad reaction, she said that they smelled like they were for like seven year olds or like eight year olds for this one. That's the only bad reaction I ever got from it. But I don't know if she was joking, this or that. It does smell like a youthful scent. I do recommend it more to the teenagers. This is probably the highest recommended teenager scent on this list. So if you're a teenager, and you like sweet tropical scents, I'd stop this video right now, purchase it. All links that are gonna be down in the description, so check them out. Number four, Abercrombie & Fitch, First Instinct. Wow. Now number three, it pains me to say this because technically it still is my favorite fragrance. And if you follow me, you know exactly what it is. And you're probably gonna be happy that it's not number one on this list because then it would be a little bit boring. Number three, Abercrombie & Fitch, Fierce, intense. I need to make another whole video on Fierce because there's just, I've made some bad videos on Fierce with bad quality and there's just so much more information. I don't have enough time to say everything about it right now. Absolutely love this scent. It's kind of, to me, like a musky sage kind of a scent. When this scent came out, in my opinion, this was the best scent. It came out like 15 years ago. It's been copied. There's new new kinds of styles of scent that people like more, but I just absolutely love Fierce Intense. I will never be without a bottle. It's the reason I'm into fragrances right now. I've just never really gotten a bad reaction from Fierce. A lot of times when you show people, they'll get like a seven, but I think in passing, Fierce is just very, very, very good. I would say Dior Sauvage kind of has the, the fierce kind of vibe to it of today, whereas uh, fierce kind of is a little bit dated. And here in the US, back in the day, Abercrombie used to spray the scent so much that you'd smell it 
20 or 30 feet from the actual doors of the store. The actual uniqueness, although it was unique when it came out, was kind of blurred because everybody smells it. You kind of just smell like Abercrombie. It just there's there is something to a scent that it's not just played out that you're unique not that like oh I've smelled that every time I go to the mall it's fierce intense it's supposed to be a stronger version of fierce but uh, the regular one right now is okay I still do like fierce intense a little better it's a little stronger some say it's a little darker um, I just think it's a little stronger a little thicker and smells a little bit more of high quality the original fierce is really good you could get it in its place or Mont Blanc legend although I like fierce more than Mont Blanc legend personally they are very similar number two our only tie on this list. This again is for compliments only, 100%. That's why Fierce Fierce would be number one probably. But for compliments, um, yeah, it's it's a solid number three. Absolutely, like almost no bad compliments with Fierce. On to number two. She gets a special cologne. Ch Man Privé and the infamous Dior Sauvage. Dior Sauvage, like I was just saying, is kind of like the new Fierce as far as compliments. Um, it just smells just absolutely amazing. I never used to like the smell, but now I absolutely love it. I mean, it's kind of this Ambroxan, this bergamot, this kind of salt to it, to me personally. The uh, Ambroxan kind of gives it this, this kind of sexy vibe, whereas Fierce has, Fierce has a lot of things that give it a sexy vibe. It has ISO E Super in Fierce that has, I like the sage in Fierce and I like the musk in Fierce. I think that's what gives Fierce its little like pow in the face. And this one, it's just probably the best orange scent that I've smelled. It's Tesla definitely doesn't smell exactly like orange, but it's kind of this bitter orange scent. Like here in California, there's a lot of orange trees everywhere. For some reason, like after I've noticed the orange, I just envision just like California back the way it was before it was completely industrialized. Great orange Ambroxan, you know, it lasts forever. You could put spray this on your arm, go swimming for an hour, you're still gonna smell it on your arm. It's not gonna go away. Amazing, amazing long longevity and projection. You can't go wrong with it. Absolutely love it. It's hyped to death for a good reason. Personally, I just love this stuff. Dior Sauvage. And also tied number two, CH Man Privé. Um, I just could not put these two above each other for the reactions that they've got. I mean, Sauvage has got me lots of consistent good reactions and just about everybody likes it. CH Man, I mean, uh, it's one of those ones where it just works in person. It's kind of like the bad boys kind of a scent. It's like, I really wouldn't wear this if I was going on a date with my wife or, you know, just go, you know, it's kind of like a, I'm doing things by myself. I'm, a, I'm like a lone wolf. I'm wearing all black. Like, it's just kind of like, I'm kind of going to be daring in this way. I wear a CH Man Privé. It's absolutely amazing. It's mainly like leather vanilla with undertones of whiskey. It almost smells a little bit fruity. Absolutely in love with this stuff. Pretty much from the first whiff, I've, you know, it's been hard for me not to put this scent as my number one. Now I wear Fierce when I wear Sun Black. Uh, when I wear All Black, I wear CH Man Privé. Um, I thought with Fierce was a little bit more of a bad boy scent. For me, this is my favorite kind of bad boy style scent. It's just a very independent, manly, sexy scent, and it deserves to be number two. A good reaction, I have had some solid reactions, but the one main reaction that allowed me to put this number two, because although I like it, if it didn't give me compliments, I wouldn't put a number two. And I showed this one girl like tons and tons of scents, like all the good ones. She never liked any of them, this, that. Well, she did, but she was like, oh, they're average, oh, they're whatever. When I showed her this, I had hyped it, and I shouldn't have hyped it, because I just loved this stuff, and she was kind of into the darker stuff. I just saw this big ass grin on her face and then like I looked and she just kept smelling it and she like wouldn't would not put it down and like I was just like yeah that's exactly what I think about this stuff just amazing dark sexy um, independent number two tied with Dior Sauvage is CH Man Privé number one on this list this list is a hundred percent for compliments only so this is my most complimented scent I uh, with this scent I have gotten the most steady round of reactions um, I've never gotten a bad reaction from it, and it's always been good. It's not even an average. I've always had a good or a great reaction. Everybody admits that it's good. I've had girls I've talked to say this is that their favorite fragrance, and that if somebody, if a guy were to wear this fragrance, that they might even believe things that aren't true about the guy just because they love the fragrance so much. I've literally had girls tell me this. One of my friend's signature scents for a number of years, it's only this number one because for me at this time period right now, it is extremely effective. And although it has been out for a while, this formula, it is, it is what it is. It's the most effective. It's number one for a good reason, and it is 
Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP. As much as I love this stuff, in my personal opinion, this would be in my top five. I absolutely love this stuff, but if we're talking about for the amount of compliments, the amount of times they like it versus that they don't like it, and the amount of times I've gotten good compliments, and we're talking about girls, like, you know, the one, the men give me compliments at, I can't put a number one unless I get the female compliments. That's just how it goes. And they come with Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDP. Every time, it's just an absolute great scent. I've never gotten a bad reaction from it. It is my number one Dolce & Gabbana's The One EDP. I'll be interested to see what your most complimented clones were of this year. And uh, I do want to say real quick that I have Therry Mugler's Pure Havan, and that would probably be on this list, but I just haven't had time to test it. It can't be on the list just because I think it would be on the list. It's, this is a list for simple effectiveness. And again, the, it, the factors are when I've worn it. If there's a cologne that I've worn five times in the year, uh, it's just never, it's just, it's just never going to be on the top 10 most complimented for me because it just physically can't. So I'll be interested to see what you guys think of my list down below, what your guys most complimented lists are and what cologne you think I should check out. I'll be a very interested to see down below. But anyways, guys, it's been Josh TV. Hit oh my God, what is that smell?